Well, good morning. We're off to uh, the Peak Districts again. Um, we're going to have one final go at getting to see the Lamagia, which is that vulture. Uh, we're going to have a go at that and then we're going to do some uh, freestyling in the car and uh, see what else we can get up on the uh, Peak District. So we'll have a look. See you later. Well, you can see the uh, view of the Peak District. We're going over to try and see the Lamigir again. So um, let's hopefully have a little bit more success this time. But it's not a bad place to be, is it, really, if you think about it. It's absolutely stunning. Well, can you see up there? Right, that is where the Lamigir is perched. I can see him just through my lens, he's hiding behind some branches and he's up there. Um, we've just walked about 4.2 million miles up a hill, um, so we've known about it, but we're gonna have to see. Now the thing is it's raining now, so it's liable to sit tight. It's been moving all day apparently from one side of the valley to the next. Um, it's been flying overhead, it's been doing all sorts. But at the moment it's tucked in under an overhang and um, there's nothing we can do but sort of sit it out now. It's been a it's been a, a real climb to get here. Um, it is a, it is a long way. Um, you don't realise that it's on the Pennine Way. It's on the Pennine Way. You don't realise how hard going that is um, until you actually do here. But this is third time lucky. At least we've we've been able to actually see it. it, it there is an overhang and there is some branches in front of it. So as far as photography goes, it's going to be what they call an ID shot. And that's probably all it's going to be today but um, man with mission we got there and uh, we'll see let's carry on well that's him he's got his back to us he's not moving at all really um, the rain's just stopped so apparently he's been coming back and forward to this spot because there's a carcass over to the right he's been feeding and then coming back resting on this uh, crag Well, another half a mile to go. It's all downhill, so it's uh, bod on. I don't know how Thomas Eaton does it, do you? <laughs>
So that's the dipper, he's just caught a bull head. Um, so he's just been smashing it against the rocks and now he's just eating it. The bull head is a fish. In the Peak District, there's plenty of places like this where you've got waterfalls, you've got lots of running water and you're going to get the dipper, all sorts. You can get the kingfisher, yellow wagtails and grey wagtails. They're a favourite for a place like this as well. And that's the grey wagtail. They'll, they'll fish for little bits in the margins. But again, my favourite, which I've just been filming again, is the dipper. Fascinating things. If you look at that one, it was just under the water, then it stood up onto one of the rocks and it were bone dry. What a fantastic little bird. Fantastic to watch. Love to photograph them. I can't resist them. Um, but while you're waiting, you don't know what's going to come, do you? So it's worth bunkering down in a position like we have here and just waiting. It's not a bad office, really, is it, when you think about it? Whilst in the uh, Peak District, it's well worth driving through the estate of Chatsworth House. You can often see deer, the fallow deer that's out there, but one thing that is a must is you've got to go to the Chatsworth farm shop. It's incredible. The food, the quality of the food is absolutely incredible. And of course, you're out and about, so you've got to treat yourself. But it's well worth the drive through the estate even if it's only just to get a glimpse of the fabulous fallow deer.
Now you see that view over there, that's right down into a valley. I'm gonna stay parked up here. I'm gonna get my camera out, my 600 on the tripod and I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna be looking over here to see if there's any buzzards, any kestrels, any hares, anything come up. You see that purple over in the distance? Well, that's where I got the shots of the red grouse in that heather. I must admit, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a fantastic experience. The Peak District's got a lot to offer. I hope it inspires you to come along. I can hear two or three buzzards to the back. I think they're juveniles. When I'm positioned there, the sun's behind me. So for me to take a photograph again that way with the sun, it is possible because the clouds keep coming across, but uh, I'd be better off here. And with this being so low down, it makes a fantastic shot if you can get the buzzards or kestrels to float in at the same level as where you are you get an eye to eye shot same eye level shot that that would make a wonderful shot that would especially with a kestrel hovering right in front of you looking at you that would be a great shot but we're gonna have to wait it out that's all we can do with they're about but we just hope that they're gonna move down into the valley and come across let's see We've got a few shots of uh, buzzard then. Um, one thing you've got to remember is if you're shooting in AV, you've got to do some exposure compensation. I went one stop, looked at the back of my camera, it weren't enough because the sun's bright. So I'm like, I'm, I'm basically two plus two stops compensation so that it doesn't just get silhouetted. So um, yeah, we'll have a look at those and uh, see how they see how they turned out. There was all there was all up bit high in the sky. There was no nothing really at uh, eye level, which was the shot I really wanted. Um, but you know, as the saying goes, better luck next time. <laughs> Well, sadly, that's the end of summer 2020 today. Um, it's been a fabulous eight weeks that I've been coming up here. Started off with the uh, long-eared owls when they had their chicks and gone through various days. It's been absolutely wonderful. It doesn't end here because tomorrow is autumn and the Peak District is going to be fabulous in the autumn. They're going to be losing all the leaves on the tree so you'll be able to spot birds in the trees a lot easier it all starts again from a different aspect so it's been absolutely wonderful i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me i know i've enjoyed doing it so you know what i'll end on is i'll do a little compilation of some of the photographs that i've taken over the last eight weeks and i'll finish on that <laughs>